What a mess this thing is. Hey, I like the fact that you already named the bus. What? See? It's right there. It's na named all over the place. Oh, yes. Extreme. It's the rattle trap. Hey, good morning from Jamie's Van Build. Uh, today, me and Steve are going to do some, some things inside here, and I'm not really sure what they're going to be. Uh, I know we're not going to play with that air horn. It's broken. But uh, a little hint. Steve is carrying electrical stuff. And a brand new crimper. We have three things to build, really, three things, uh, three important things, and of course some electrical. Um, I don't know if we're going to get to that today, but uh, one is this, two would be the closet, three is the back bed area. Uh, both this and the back bed area, pretty simple. Steve had the idea of coming over here and helping out with electrical. So I think it's what we're going to do. <laughs> also thank you Steve, check out his channel, Steampunk Steve on YouTube. Yeah, please. Now, since Steve wasn't with me for the past uh, few weeks or so when I was over at Reed's, um, I got lots of wood, so he probably can put two and two together and figure out that the cedar is going to be up on the sides, and then the other stuff in the package is for the walls, and then obviously we just talked about that. That goes outside the bus. Um, so, that being said... First order of business is making a, making a spot for us to work. Yeah, we're gonna have to dig out some of uh some of this stuff here. Yeah. Cut the Romex because that's easy. Okay. I mean this end. Yeah. Um. If you get this board banded, painted, and in place, then this is where two of the two of the switches are going. Yeah. Um. We have the wire channel. <laughs> this is behind the scenes. This is actually what we do most of the time. I'm going to see what you guys did Yeah. back here. Yeah. Because those white wires, the overhead lights, all should go that way, and the red should come this way. Something like that. So, anyways, we're going to get to work. The current state of everything, we're trying to figure out what we're doing with this wall. Since we didn't have a plan to begin, we are trying to create a plan, and the plan has changed several times. Feel free to uh, throw in your uh, disapproval in the comments. Now, uh... Since we changed this all up, this took a dramatic turn, and that's why we didn't really have a solid plan of what exactly this was going to be. So right now we're trying to figure out a way to hide the wires, have a little wire channel chase or hide them, and I just suggested what if we had cut out a piece of plywood to cover this whole thing, had a nice little cutout for the window, and then took the cedar down to here. We're going to have a cedar piece across this way with LEDs on the top side, just like the last bus. We're just trying to figure out the best way to make it disappear and look pretty. Have a drone? I do, but I need to update the firmware. I do, oh, okay. but I don't. I know, real convenient. I, don't. All right, I forgot to yet, update so. the firmware. Uh, Neil Teardrop uh, Travels came Te by. Teardrop RV Travels. TeardropRVTravels.com. <laughs> uh, nothing like a, a shameless self plug. But uh, <laughs> he's coming to interrupt our work. Uh, so we're going to go uh, play some hooky with him. Uh, we're going to go check out some intaglios. Steampunk Steve's going to come. I'm just going to close up the bus here. And we're going to hit the road. All right, so we are out at the Snake Intaglio. Now, there is an issue. <laughs> There is a fence around this whole thing, and I don't know if the only way we could be able to see this is if I had my drone, which needs to be updated before I can fly it. Okay, protected site, archaeological uh, site. Oh, hey, there's a... Wait, is this... There's a passageway here. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. I don't know if this is supposed to be a walkway, but it's open and there is a trail, so it doesn't say keep out. So I say let's go on inside and check them out. This is it. It might not look like much, but this is the snake intaglio. I, <laughs> I can't even... Yeah, it's so strange. I can't even say this is the start, this is the, this is the stop. It almost looks like a meandering stream. And the fact that we're out so close to it is a little strange because there is a fence around the area and then there's an opening in the fence and it, it doesn't say, you know, do not enter. But uh, little mice are kind of messing up the intaglio, but 
this is it. So, if anybody thinks you shouldn't be in here, well, just keep your distance. And again, there was a, there was no signs posted for this, so I'm guessing this is okay. Um, but yeah, this is it. So, it would probably be a lot more significant from the air. But definitely don't walk over it if you come out here. Well, surprise, surprise, me and Steve went to town looking for supplies and killed the rest of our day. But we did get a burrito. <laughs> Today, me and Wander Boom were inside playing with some of the designs and suggested a slight deviation. We'll update you if we do go with that. But we're just trying to get this thing done. <laughs> Things like the never-ending bus project. I know. I know. That's the way it seems to eat. Seems to me as well, but uh, thankfully, guys like Wonder Boom helped out, and I would not be this far along with this pretty of a bus if it weren't for him and Steve and Mojo Bus and everybody else who stopped by. So thanks again for that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Jason's in the back. You guys don't know Jason. Whatever. If you guys need printing work, he does printing work. Cool. Hit me up. I'll be a middleman. <laughs> Here's the update. We're scrapping Mike's idea. We thought of another idea to kind of fold out, but realistically, <laughs> it's going to be comfy. We're not going to have an angled back part, you know, some people do, some people don't. But here, there's pros and cons of doing that. Uh, anytime you have a back sliding part, an angle, you're taken away from uh, the amount of space that you could use to sit on it and to sleep on it. So we're just going to do a 90 degree thing. And at some point in the future, if I want to redo these things, guess what? I can unscrew it and throw away about, I don't know, $100 in wood. So it's not a huge, huge deal. I do want to get this thing done. I am feeling uh, some time constraints. Josh hit me up last night and was like, yo, when's your bus done? Bus ain't done yet. Uh, I'm feeling, uh, I'm, I'm quite over building, even though I'm not doing most of the building. I'm helping to do the building. But this is taking, this is not what I expected when I first started. It was taking much longer than anticipated. Just like I said before, twice as much, twice as long as you think it's going to take you. Yep. And uh, this sure is even more so for this project. <laughs> so, yeah. So we're just going to finish these things up and uh, call it a day. Uh, slightly feeling still frustrated with this to the point where if I could burn this thing down and start over, I might consider it. Thankfully, I have good friends like Steampunk Steve to come and help me out with things I don't know. Steve is working on some 12 volt electricity today. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem at all. <laughs> we also have a gigantic mess uh, of, of things here, which need to go around, but I don't want to take this off and put it back and take it off and put it back and take it off and put it back. Anyways, so we have a little mess here. I'm going to go outside and I'm going to play with edge banding if you guys know what that is. If you don't, I'm just going to be ironing on wood to wood. All right, now. Feeling better. I found what I was looking for. So I'm gonna get to ironing outside. Steve is in here. Thanks, Steve. Hey. Playing with uh, Romex. You know, if it weren't for great guys like Steve, Mojo Bus, um, Eric, Wander Boom, uh, Jamie of the Coach Works, who else am I forgetting? You know, obviously Mike too for, for initially helping me out, but you know, he had to go. So that's why I'm saying if it wasn't for those guys showing up, <laughs> help me out this thing. I don't know if this thing would ever get done. So, um, so anyway, it's very point, thankful. At this point, you'd be in a nice rest home someplace. Uh, yeah. Recovering. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't really get too frustrated in life. That's just my personality, but I was definitely a little frustrated earlier. And I was telling Steve, I like to burn this thing to the ground. But now, you know, I don't want to burn it down. I like this. Oh, so you found his missing wire. Do you find your marbles, though? No. All right, guys, I am out of here. Uh, kind of woke up this morning. Still a little on the frustrated side. And uh, just decided that uh, 10 days with no shower. That's right, folks, 10 days. I'm a greasy mf -er. It is 10 days too many for me. Don't have propane, no electricity, no water, no place to sleep. Uh, it's just a little bit too difficult out here for me, and I'm I, uh, not a big fan of the desert, and I don't mean to be negative. Um, and I'm not, that's not what I'm saying here. I'm not, definitely not trying to complain. I'm just letting you guys know how difficult it is having a half completed bus. So, I'm flying the coop, I'm shooting the breeze, I'm saying sayonara, the Van Bill 2018.
Thanks for all the help. I'll see you in a month.